Big old boar hog, boys. Woo, that's a bruiser, son. Get in here. Okay, look at that. Captain signature move. The old two for one. Get it. I got him. I got him. I got him. Yes, sir. Good dog. Catch him. A lot of people know I train and use dogs to help me remove invasive species, but they don't realize quite all the dogs I have. Moose and Otto get the limelight and all the credit, but it takes a lot to run our operation. You can kind of see here some of the dogs we have. I have a number of hog dogs, iguana, python dogs, dogs that are really just do it all, whether it's birds, raccoons, iguanas, it don't matter. Um, they're ready to work. And especially as the operation grows, we really could not do it without the dogs that we use. No! Oh, what a grab, son! Holy sh... That was sick. Mouser, mousers. So these are three of our dogs that stay outside in the dog run. They don't stay in a kennel. Um, they're a little bit special of dogs, I guess. Helen here is actually blind. She was born without eyeballs. Here's a good little pop. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Yeah. And she was a rescue we took in, and we're giving her a new life as a working dog. She's done a little bit for me, not a whole bunch but uh, you'll actually be able to see her on Swamp People's Serpent Invasion where she finds a python for us. Mouse here is uh, uh, my up and coming pack leader for hogs. She is an unbelievable hog dog at just a year old. She's already out finding hogs back to back every hunt and uh, kind of showing the other dogs how it's done a little bit. So it's been really cool to watch her figure it all out and gain confidence and I really think she's going to be one of the best hog dogs I've ever had. And I plan on breeding her with moose as soon as she has her next heat. This here is Rogue. And Rogue is my main uh, iguana guide dog for all my guys that go out in the field without me. Um, they'll do guided hunts and bring her along and she does a phenomenal job. She's very good on iguanas pythons, she does birds, raccoons, you name it, she does it. And she's very easy to handle, a good listener, and just an all around good dog. And she's our uh, female iguana python dog. Get it. Oh, hold your fire, she's got it right now. Good dog. Here we got a whole bunch of other dogs. This is Rooster. And Rooster's one of my lead hog dogs. He's a very powerful dog. He's very good at catching hogs. And um, he's good at finding them as well. He's kind of a, uh, uh, a one dog, running, running catch dog. And he does a very good job for me. Good dog. Good boy. Every day we let them out, whether they're working or not, give them a lot of time to run around, play with each other, and um, socialize and all that good stuff. We've built this uh, kennel system over the past few years. Originally started with just the concrete slab, just a few kennels on top, expanding the slab, expanding the kennels, adding a water system where they can get water on demand anytime they want platforms, dog houses, and now our most recent addition is the uh, power lights and the roof here. They have a nice uh, pole barn over them, keeping them out of the sun, out of the rain, out of the weather, and uh, it's been really nice. Our dogs work very, very hard for us, and um, you know we respect that and like to treat them, treat them very well. Let some of these puppies out. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, be nice. Come here, Rooster. Let me put you up. Come here. Come on. In your kennel. Rooster, kennel. You better get in your kennel. Good dog. 
go. go. This here is Tula and one of my new puppies, Big Bob. All these puppies here are from Moose, my lead hog dog. We bred him to a female of another hunter I know. And we're hoping these puppies turn out really good. Tula, the black and white dog I just let out, is uh, my lead hog female. Good girl! Hold him, Tula! She's a really, really good hog dog. And uh, we produced a litter of puppies from her maybe about a year and a half ago. And I'll show you some of these puppies here in a minute. They're not puppies no more, and they're doing very good for me. They're finding and catching hogs. Nip, hush. Come here, Tula. And you can see she's gained some scars over the years. Catch him, catch him. Catch him, good dog. Here's one of Tula's son, Chomp. He's that tall, tan and white dog. Get him, Chomp. Good dog. Old Chomp here's got some long legs on him, and he uses them. He was hunting for me not too long ago. We were riding side by side. Decent pack of hogs run out in front of us and I had him on the roof of my side-by-side -side for the first time and he seen the hogs got so fired up he broke his leash jumped off the roof while I'm hauling ass tumbled on the ground got back up full speed ahead onto the hogs and he jumped over this road like damn Air Jordan landed, didn't skip a beat, caught up to the hogs, and, and was able to catch one for us. So catch him, Chomp! Catch him, Chomp! Good dog! Good dog! Get in here, boys! That was uh, pretty cool, and and really showed me that he's gaining confidence and figuring it all out. Ain't that right, Chomp? Hey, 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 hey! Calm down, calm down. Rowdy here's just a lover. Ain't you, girl? Ain't you, girl? Here's good old Nip. Good dogs. And Nip was one of the original four, the first pack of Ford Hall dogs we had doing removals. He's been with us a while. He's been cut up many times. He's uh, probably one of the hardest catching dogs I have. Don't matter how big the hog is or if he's by himself, he's catching it. And he's come close to death a number of times because of it. Good dog. Hold him, Nip. Hold him, Nip. Hold him, Nip. That is Croc. And that sucker will croc a hog. Good dog! Catch him! Catch him, croc! Catch him, croc! Oh boy! He's uh, finally figuring out the whole catching thing. He had a little bit of a slow start, but he is absolutely hammering the hogs now, doing a very good job, and he's become the dog I was hoping he would. Woo! That's a bruiser, son! He's real easy to handle. I can be walking through the woods, he'll stay right next to me. And as soon as we hear one of the other dogs find a hog, I'll tell him to go and he goes right to him and shuts it down. Big bodied, muscular dog, perfect for catching. Big old head on him. Reminds me a lot of his, uh, of his grandmother. So here, this little dog running with my puppies is not a puppy, that is a full grown adult dog. Uh, its name is Shrimp. Its nickname is the Pecker Wrecker. And it lives up to it every darn hunt. It will catch every boar hog, no matter how big it is, right by the Pecker and just hang on for dear life. The Pecker Wrecker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Told you. <laughs> Here's old Iguana Catfish. Good, look at that. 
Catfish, signature move. The old two for one. Give it, I got him, I got him, I got him. Good dog. Right. Back before we had rogue going on iguanas real good, I needed help on these iguana hunts because Otto was just going too many days a week. Um, some days, you know, we had two or three hunts and, and Otto can only be in so many places at once. So I got catfish and he's worked out pretty well. He's a, he's a good iguana hunter. He's really good at running them down and catching them. He can be a little hard headed, don't listen great. And we've been having a hell of a time with ear infections from them. So still trying to get that figured out, but uh, we love old catfish and he's definitely turned out to be a pretty good dog for us. I've actually uh, been out on a guided hunt with catfish and I had maybe like a 10 and 12 year old in the boat with their parents and they shot a nice, nice iguana. I sent in old catfish for the retrieve. He goes up into the thick bushes where the iguana kind of got up into and he spends a few minutes up there, comes out of the bushes and he's got a big old feral cat in his mouth. Thankfully, it didn't have a collar on it, but uh, you know, I think the, uh, the kids were a little shocked by that. Disclaimer, feral cats are the worst invasive species we got, um, not only here in Florida, but across the world. They just absolutely eat everything. They kill just for fun, and they've actually wiped out uh, a number of species, um, made them go extinct. So it's a really big deal and it's, it's good anytime we can remove these feral cats even though it is a sensitive thing for a lot of people. Everyone go. Give them an inch, they take a mile. Hey, hey. Because Helen's the weakest link out of everyone. They definitely like to beat up on her. I gotta watch her. Play, play time can turn into real fights. We wanna make sure that they all get their chance to work. I never like a dog just sitting in the kennel. Um, so it keeps us busy. Cruiser, I was not ready for this. Caught a big boar hog right there. Then we caught this damn three, 400 pounder right as I got done tying him up. We got a third one bait up now. What a shit show. Yes, sir. Nice work, little trouble. He's a fat boy. Hell yeah.